much good. <laughs> what are you doing in my house? And how'd you even get in here? The door was locked. First of all, a dog let me in. Your little doggy got up there and was like, nee, 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 and grabbed the door and unlocked it. And I'm like, hey, if a dog lets me in, it's the same thing as the owner let me in. So I came on in. <laughs> My bad. And I was real thirsty. I was looking for some juice and uh, some eggs. And you got both, so I was going to use that because I'm training for a race. Okay, so you're running in a race. Uh, I see you're training hard because uh, you're wearing boots. So I'm sure you're going to do great and heavy boots. I know many Olympic athletes who won their first race in boots, so I'm sure you're going to do great. You know my boot game on point. I also came here because I need help finding my average miles per day. I've been running for the past five days. I knew you could help me. You teach math, so could you help me? Come on, come on. I'm trying to find out an average for your week. That I can help you with. Come sit down on the couch. Get in here! Why? Okay, so how many miles have you ran this week, day by day? Tell me, go. Day one, I ran three miles. Day two, I also ran three miles. Now day three, I only ran one mile. What ended up happening was, I was watching Netflix and found this TV series called Goosebumps. Man, those are some scary episodes. I watch every single one. There was this one guy on the show. He was a dummy named Slappy, and he came to life. And he was like, hey kids. And I was like, whoa. It scared me so bad I didn't sleep that night. And the next night me. Now that's not a joke. Day four, I ran five miles. I started running like this because I saw it would increase my time, and it did. And then day five, I ran three miles. Kid, that's actually super good. I'm impressed with you, man. Great job. When's the race? My race is tomorrow, and it's a marathon. So I think it's 26 miles. The race is tomorrow, and it's 26 miles, and the most you've done is five miles? Please tell me you have running shoes and not wearing those boots. Please. Please. I'm wearing my boots! You think I wear anything under the boots? That's what real men wear. Whatever. I'm, I'll teach you the lesson. I'll show you how to find uh, the average or the mean. <laughs> the mean's average. Yeah, I want to learn about average. I want to find my average. I don't want to learn about anything else, Barney B. So don't be sneaking an extra math on me, alright? Okay. So, we're going to find the average, or also known as, the mean of this data set that you gave me, kid. You said that you ran three miles on day one, three miles on day two, one mile on day three, five miles on day four, and three miles on day five. So what we're going to do is find your mean. All right, finding the mean is a piece of cake. Step one, you have to add all your numbers together in the data set. So we have three plus... 3 plus 1 plus 5 plus 3. So we'd add all those together, which we get 15. But next step, I'm going to go to that first. We have to divide by the amount of numbers you have or your count in your data set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're going to divide this total by 5. So we are going to rewrite this. We added all these together, and I told you it was 15 which is the sum of the entire data set, divided by five, which is the amount of numbers within the data set, or the count of numbers. 15 divided by five equals three miles per day. So kid, you're running on average three miles a day in boots. I'm at three miles per day and these boots are right here. Yeah! But you should see the corns on my feet. They're pretty gross. Uh, oh, you can't leave just yet. Because when I teach the mean, I usually teach the median, mode, and range. So I'm gonna teach that to you real fast too. You can't leave. I gotta show you. <laughs> oh, come on, man! So we're gonna learn about the median now, which is the middle number. So we have to organize our data set from least to greatest before we can do anything. So let's do that. One. Three, 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 five. So now all we need to do is look for the middle number. So we have five, which is an odd number, so we know the third number is going to be the middle, which is three. So our median of this set is three. So the median equals three on this data set. Now let's find the mode, which is the most occurring number. <laughs> that was a funny joke, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, um, so the mode is what occurs the most. 
Well, what number do you see the most in this data set that we've already used? Three. That happens three times, while the other numbers, one and five, only happen once. So three is our mode. Now, the range. The range is easy. It is the largest number in your data set minus the smallest number in your data set. So what's the largest number you see here? I see five. So five minus what's the smallest number in the data set? One. You get five minus one equals four. So that's your range. So in conclusion, with the data set three, three, one, five, three, the mean would be three. The median is three. The mode is three and the range is four. And then when you get all that correct, you're a happy camper. <laughs> oh wait, lesson's over. <laughs> About time, you didn't put me asleep or nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna go win me a race now and be a champion. Bye. Yeah, boy, yeah. Next time you see me, Barney B, I'm gonna be a champion. Good luck, kid. I'm out of here. Bye. So I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> Mile and a half in the race. Probably in 10th place out of 500. <laughs> but uh, I know I'm going to be a champion. Wait till you see me at the end of the finish line. Holding a gold medal, boy. <laughs> I don't know why, but my stomach's kind of hurting. I ate 19 bologna sandwiches before this for power. I don't get it. <laughs> my stomach's really hurting, fellas. <laughs> Is it normal if your right side feels like it's about to explode? Because mine may have. <laughs>